Welcome to Isadora Tutorial 6, Part 2. Make sure that you've looked at the first part of this tutorial before continuing on here. In this tutorial, we're going to go further with the exploration of the scaling feature of Isadora, learning specifically about the scale min and scale max settings, which is what allows you to get a really fine degree of control of the parameters inside of Isadora. So let me explain this a little bit further. I'm pointing the cursor here at the output of the envelope generator. It says 0 to 100. So that's its maximum and minimum range. The biggest it'll ever get is 100 and the smallest is 0. But yet, we know already that the shapes actor has a range of minus 200 to plus 200. Isadora's default behavior, when the two numbers don't match like that, is that it takes the, the 0 to 100, or whatever it is, the output range, and automatically scales it so that it matches the input range. So in other words, the 0 to 100 coming out of the envelope generator grows to become minus 200 and plus 200. Now I did that inside of the program so that when you hook something up, you'll see something happen, but it's not always exactly what you want. So we go back a step and we remember that we, we wanted it to go from minus 52 to plus 52. The goal here is to try and get that to happen. And the way you do that is by clicking on the word, uh, the title I should say, of the parameter you want to manipulate. Now here I'm going to click on horizontal position and you see I get this little inspector box. And the key things here are these two sections, scale min and scale max. Right now, they're at the biggest possible number, minus 200 and plus 200. But if I change the scale min to minus 52, and I change the scale max to plus 52, or I'm just going to type 52, now the range has been changed. If I point at the cursor again at the horizontal position, it still says minimum minus 200, maximum 200. But look at the scale min, scale max. Those numbers are brought in from that. It's minus 52 to plus 52. And that's the scaling that's actually going to occur. If I now hit my letter S to make the keyboard watcher go, the line moves exactly from one edge of the stage to the other. Understanding scaling takes a little bit of time and practice, but I have to emphasize again, this is how you get Isadora to do exactly what you want it to do. It's also important to note that you don't have to use the whole range. Like for instance, maybe we just want it to travel a very tiny amount. Watch what happens if I change the scale min to minus 10 and the scale max to zero, right? Remembering that zero is in the center of the stage, so minus 10 is just gonna be someplace like here. If I hit letter S again, that's exactly what happens. It moves from minus 10 to plus 10 over eight, or sorry, over 10 seconds, right? Another really useful feature is the envelope generator here is going up from zero to 100. And so what happens is when we go from a minus number to a plus number, the image moves from left to right, the line. You can also flip flop it. If I said here, set the scale min to plus 52, not minus 52 now, I'm now making it upside down and set the scale max to minus 52, right? So it used to be scale min was minus 52, scale max was plus 52. But by inverting those numbers, now instead of from traveling from left to right, it travels from right to left. So you can take the scale min and scale max and flop them around. The one does not have to be less than the other or anything like that. So by using the scaling in Isadora, this is how you get something to move from exactly one place to another, or for the volume to go up from uh, not completely off value to a little bit louder. There's so many important ways that the scaling takes uh, effect that I have to emphasize that it's something you need to try out and practice. But hopefully this tutorial is giving you some idea of not only how to use the envelope generator to control how images appear or the control of other effects, but also the beginning understanding of how the scaling works inside of Isadora.